What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. Tonight we're gonna to be staying in one of York's most haunted Airbnbs. This place is over 600 years old, vintage antiques inside. The place is supposed to be so haunted as well, so I definitely wanna check this place out. We have got the keys, I have just dumped my bags inside and come out, because I wanna show you first look as I'm looking around. So we're going to get straight in there guys, going to be doing a little walk around, have a look at the place, see what it's about and just see what happens. This place is absolute vibes. Let's head inside, check it out and see what it has to offer. Okay guys, we're about to head inside now. Check this out. Old grandfather clock as you walk in. The antiques in this place are absolutely amazing. They've obviously been collecting them. All Victorian, Edwardian. Barometer on the wall there. Look at these narrow stairs. Like I was saying, this place is 600 years old. The building. Antiques from all different decades and eras. All the clocks have stopped, which is a bit strange. Maps on the walls there. Check out this furniture. Absolutely amazing. Hand carved furniture. Lamps and stuff like that from different decades. Everything is vintage and antique. It's absolutely amazing. Nice furniture. Ceilings are nice and low. Showing the age of the place. Look at that mirror. But as we head inside, it's just vibes. Absolute vibes. Just close that so we can walk about properly. Straight into this bathroom. You can see the wood panelling. There is like a door here as well, but it's screwed shut. But you can see the brass. Definitely like Victorian. The wood and the floor in the living room here are from Edwardian ships so they've got their own story to tell I'm not sure how they really ended up in here but it is what it is look at this on the wall guys there's a skinned rat you can see his little hands and feet there his tail why would someone do that that's crazy you have to be tapped in the head but look at these all carved antique absolutely stunning heading into the living room like i said floorboards and wood paneling all from edwardian ships look at this guys it is absolute creepy vibes in here proper atmospheric like i say in all the antiques from different eras littered around the house 600 years old um, we'll go into some of the hauntings and stories after, but this is just unbelievable. More antiques. Weird wearing my own clothes. <laughs> I usually just wear scruffs as we're in abandoned places, but it's nice that I can actually wear normal clothes. Gonna check out in all these little spaces. Check this out. Just storage in there, all your bits and bobs. apart like we said though it's very old the wooden tables here check out these carvings though how weird are these very strange nice candles up there set the atmosphere it is advertised as a haunted house as well give it a bit of a draw nice carvings again creepy though definitely creepy Surprising like 600 years how it's still standing look at this taxidermy. This is all Victorian Look at this foxes 
somebody's little pet dog. So weird. Clocks have stopped, which is a sign of hauntings. But look at this guy here. Look at this little monkey. Look at the teeth on him. Needs to brush him, but how strange is that? And here we've got like a monkey paw. There is like myths behind that. And some monkey nuts. I bought them. Especially for that. <laughs> we've got the ravens and pheasants up on the wall. Look at their eyes. So weird. More carvings dotted about. Check this out. Imagine hearing that in the middle of the night. Got the old candles, check out this mummified bat. Look at his teeth there. Hanging upside down. Nice frames too. Got the ba uh, bathroom, kitchen here. All quite modern to be fair. So small though, look how small these door frames are. I'll show you better when I head outside. But all quite nice and modern in here. They've done a good job. But look at this. Look at these door frames. You can tell how old it is just from this. About just under six foot. And then you're looking out onto all the old Minster, uh, York Minster there. Just these back alleyways. We are going to uh, go around with the K2, do the Necrophonic. There is a Ouija board here. So we're going to have a little go with this. I've just heard a thump coming from there. I hope the camera's picked that up. There was a little thump. I have shut the doors, there shouldn't be any drafts. When I walked in though, I looked in the mirror up there. You just see that deer's head creep me out. Look how narrow the stairs are again though. Look at this. I'm gonna head up now. More wood panelling. Jumanji drum. Got art from the 1920s. Different streets around York. But look at this guy. He's just chilling there. And if you look at his eyes, they actually follow you. Oof. Just did some tapping. Heard some tapping coming from in here. But check out this bath. Straight off a horror film. The curtains hanging down. Nice big four poster bed. All hand carved. Look at that. Bet that's seen some action. Shackles hanging down. Look at this guys. I've just whacked my head on this. This is how low everything is. Just bang my head on that. I just heard some tapping in here. If there's any spirits in this room, do you want to make that tapping again? Listen to those floorboards as well. If the spirit that's meant to haunt this place, if you're here, do you want to make that tapping noise again? Look what I've peeped though. Look at the attic. Guys, I wasn't moving then. Creaking came from here. If there's any spirits in this room, do you want to make a, a noise or a bang? Let me know that you're here. That creaking came from that corner of the room. But like I was saying, look at that attic space right above your head where you're supposed to sleep. Not a chance. Not a chance. Just looking out onto out these windows, you can see York Minster a lot easier here. See how on top of everything, everything is. The old dressers. 
It's got major vibes. Creepy. Just check these cupboards. Just a boiler in there. That doesn't open. Ooh. Imagine this in the middle of the night. It starts moving. Lying in bed on your own. Little peepholes up there as well. Oh God. Just a little wardrobe area. We are going to have to have a look in that attic, aren't we guys? Because you never know. I'm going to take my shoes off. We've already heard tapping and the floorboards creaking. Oh, let's see if we can see anything up here. Oh, I'm going to have to put you up there because I can't see. Not really sure what's up there, I'll have to look back. But yeah, look at this ceiling. Look at the ceiling drooping. Straight down the middle. I'm surprised it's still set to standing. Check this out. Somebody's had a good time. Broke the bloody headboard. Fair play. Take some doing that. But yeah, what do you think guys? I think this is going to make an absolutely amazing paranormal investigation. Like we're saying, 600 years old, there are some stories to this place that we are going to go through. And um, the reviews on this place alone, talking about hauntings and stuff that's happened. Amazing, amazing place. Creepy as though. Okay, explorers, so we're just going through some of the reviews online. Um, so this place is the Haunted Chamber. We are in the centre of York right now. Um, it's 600 years old, like we were saying. Some of the reviews are just crazy, though. The host of the Airbnb has said, The Madness Chamber is haunted and is well over 600 years old. It is a complete time capsule of York, containing wood panelling overlooking the Minster, which is just outside. We saw that before. Um, another review says, had a lovely stay at the Haunted Chamber, it's fantastic, quirky, in the superb location, well worth the noises at 3am. So fingers crossed guys, we do get some noises at 3am, we are going to be here all through the night. Um, I don't know how I'm going to react being here on my own, but it is going to be interesting, isn't it? Another one added, quirky and interesting apartment, not for the faint hearted, the location was perfect, we did see a full apparition stood at the end of the bed. So, um, I don't know if I'd be able to handle that. I, that would, I think if we saw that, I'd, I'd be leaving. Another one here saying, fantastic place, lovely location. As for the ghostly side of it, my girlfriend heard baby noises in the bedroom during the night. Me, I slept, definitely recommend. We are here all night through till morning. I'm just trying to think how I'd react if we heard baby noises and stuff. It would be freaky, but I don't think noises is enough to send me running like. Seeing something's completely different. While I was just setting up the camera here, if you just look back here, that kitchen door was closed as I sat down, it opened, but that could be anything, couldn't it? Like we said, it's a 600 year old building. There is gonna be little things about it that don't make sense, like, that could easily be debunked, so I'm not going to go off that, even though it is a bit weird. If we do get anything, hopefully we'll have it all recorded. We are going to do the Ouija board. We're going to go around with the K2, do a necrophonic. It's evidence if we get it, isn't it, guys? Uh, fingers crossed we do get stuff. I'm looking forward to it. It is an interesting place. I am looking forward to it. So, uh, yeah, just chill now and try and film as much as we can. Okay, Explorers, K2. Just gonna have a little sweep of the place with this, see if we pick anything up at all. Fingers crossed we do. There are electrics, but we have debunked that it doesn't matter if there is electrics in this place. This will only go off if there's any energy near it. So if any of the spirits that haunt this place are here, do you wanna make yourself known? 
come towards me in the device in my hand. If the woman that stands at the edge of the bed is here, do you want to reach out and touch the device? Is it your baby that people hear crying at night? Nothing so far guys, let me just... See, you get a little flicker from the lights, but nothing. Bit of electric there, but you can see in this distance, nothing should be setting it off. If the woman that's been seen standing at the end of the bed is in this room with me right now, do you want to come towards me? If there's anyone in here at all, do you want to come out and reach this device? Let me know that you're here. A little bit of a flicker there. There you go, a little flicker. Here we go. Do you want to reach out and grab hold of my arm? Here we go, here we go. If it's a male spirit that's in the room, do you want to grab my arm? getting a bit warmed up isn't it it's warming up it's if if it's a female spirit do you want to come over touch the device in my hand nothing when I say female is there anyone sat in this chair no oh here we go guys far enough away from the light switch oh I can hear pigeons flying around outside freaking me out yeah let's try near these should be absolutely nothing coming from these obviously if there's any spirits in this room with me do you want to let me know reach out grab hold of this device in my hand Come on. Oh. Just let me know that you're here. If the woman that's been seen standing at the end of the bed is here. You want to reach out and touch the device in my hand? Do you want to make another tap or bang? Close one of the doors? Let's head upstairs guys. So yeah, this is the room now that we spoke about uh, with the baby crying. Somebody heard it at 3 a.m. in the morning. Um, a woman's been seen st standing at the end of the bed. If there's any spirits in this room now, do you want to reach out and touch the device in my hand? Let me know that you're here. Don't mean to do any harm. Do you want to make any taps, bangs, move something? Just reach out and touch the device. Do you want to walk across the floorboards like you did before? Look guys. Just did footsteps from downstairs. Footsteps from downstairs. Come on. Is there anyone in this room with me right now? You wanna let me know that you're here? Anyone at all? Definitely heard some footsteps down across these floorboards. Hmm, might be playing, playing with me. Let's sit down for a sack. If the spirit that's been seen here is still in the room, do you wanna let me know? Come towards me, come towards the device in my hand. Just reach out and touch it. It'll change colors and let me know that you're here. Don't be shy, it's okay. <gasps> See that guys? 
I'm friendly, I don't mean any harm at all. Don't be shy, touch the device in my hand. How weird was that? If you'd like to communicate with me, just reach out and touch it. Just let me know that you're here. It's absolutely fine. Don't mean any harm at all, we're just taking a look around. Might be building energy or anything like that. It may take a bit of time. But that was so weird when I said don't be shy. If it's a child, do you want to reach out and touch my hand? If there's a child here? Weird. Seems to have gone quiet. Hmm. Bit weird that guys, when I said don't be shy, it kind of went off. Didn't move at all, so don't really understand that one. But definitely heard some footsteps from in this room, 100% on the floorboards. But there doesn't seem to be anyone here. Let me just check what's in this cupboard. Maybe they're hiding. Nothing in here at all, just a quilt. Hmm. Strange one. Very strange. Does seem to be something here though. Did communicate when I asked it to. It did touch the device when I asked it to. I did hear footsteps upstairs and downstairs. Hmm. I'm definitely going to do a necrophonic and see if we can pick any voices up. And then maybe, if I'm feeling brave enough, Try the Ouija board. No. Right guys, necrophonic set up. Just gonna uh, little shout out session, see if we get any relevant answers. Um, fingers crossed we get something. If there's any spirits that would like to speak to me, do you want to speak to me through this device? Can you let me know if you're male or female? A woman's voice there. Can you let me know how old you are? Is this the woman that people have seen standing at the end of the bed? Can you, let, can you answer why do you stand at the edge of the bed watching people sleep? Help. Helps. Yeah, that helps. What do you need help with? Couldn't make that out though. Can you, can you tell me what you need help with? If there's a child here that people have heard crying, can you communicate? Is there any male spirits here? Do you want to say any messages? Leave. I can't leave yet, I need some more answers. Can you answer clearly how many spirits are in this house with me right now? Two, again. Two, again? Can you tell me the names of the spirits that are here? Can you let me know? Have any messages that you want to pass on? It's 
stood footsteps again upstairs. If that's you upstairs, do you want to come down and speak to me? Can you tell me what? Can you tell me how you passed away? Sounds quite quite manic now. I'll be shouting. So it seems like there's two spirits here. Yes. Yeah. I just heard help again. Can you tell me what you need help with? Do you need help passing over? Do you need help passing on a message? Do you want to play a game in a minute? There seems to be like quite a lot trying to talk at once. Definitely heard the word two several times when I asked how many spirits are here. Um, does seem like there's a child here as well, got that voice through quite a lot. Said help, but couldn't understand or or figure out what they were trying to say. I'll have a look at that in editing. But it's very weird, very weird indeed. So we are getting, at least we're getting something. I'm gonna try the Ouija board. Okay, Explorers. Board set up, just making sure it's in view. I've never actually properly done one of these before. I've had a little play about, but nothing, I've never got anything, so I'm not really inclined to believe that this works. But um, we've got it set up, it was already here, so we'll have a little go. We've got yes, no, male, female, alphabet, numbers, goodbye, which we'll make sure we say before we stop playing just in case. What I figured and what I've uh, researched that you have to spin it, get the energy going and then hopefully someone will communicate. I've, like I said, I've never actually done one properly before. I've never done one on my own. We never know, we never know. But I'm gonna touch it for as light as I can. So I'm gonna start spinning it in a sec. Fingers crossed we get something. Okay, that, that's a bit weird. It's pulling away from me already. Right, so we're just going to spin it, build some energy up, guys, guys, and it feels like something's pulling the triangle end, can you see it bouncing? I'm literally touching it with the very, very tip of my finger. Do you want to move this planchette with me? If there's a male or female spirit in this room with me right now, do you want to move the planchette? Guys, I literally, I'm touching that as light as I can. Oh my God. Right. I, it feels like something's pushing it. Look at it back. Guys, something's lifting that end of it. Whoever's in this room with me right now. Look, I push that down, that planchette doesn't move. I'm literally touching it as light as I can. As light as I can. Right. This is me moving it. Okay? It does feel like something's pulling it. I'm just going with it right now. Guys, I'm literally just going with it. My hand is hardly touching it. My finger is literally coming off it. Right, I'm going to spin it a bit more. Look at look how light my fingers touching it. My fingers actually moving. I am spinning it right now, but I'm not rotate rotating it. I'm just trying to keep my finger on it. I'm just spinning it still because something's pulling back on it. Right, literally can't touch that any lighter than I am right now. 
there's any spirits in this house you want to help move this planchette with me? Can you let me know if you're male or female? I'm hardly touching this at all guys. I may be moving it a little bit. But I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not doing it on purpose if it is me. I am literally touching it with my very fingertip. There's some more energy, something's happening here. I can feel it. Look at it bouncing. Do you want to lift this planchette up for me? Lift it off the board. It's when I get round here I can feel something pushing it. This is well weird. any spirits in this house now do you want to move the planchette guys I literally can't hold this any looser without my finger coming off it it does feel like something's pulling it I'm going to put it back to face you guys I'm shaking. I'm shaking. It keeps pulling towards this way. Some I'm spinning it. Someone's rotating it. I'm, I'm trying to get it as close as I can so you can actually see how light I'm touching it. I want you guys to see. I'm just going to move you down so you can actually see. How light I'm actually touching it. It's bouncing. I'm literally hot. Oh! It's not letting me move it properly. Look, it's not letting me move it. Someone's pulling it. Oh, I shouldn't be letting go, but it's freaking me out, guys. Do you know what it feels like? It feels like a magnet. Look at it rotating. I'm literally hardly touching it. Oh, it pulled then. If there's any spirits in this house, do you want to move the planchette? Do you want to give me your name? It does just seem to be pulling when I... I don't know how to do it any... Let me do my little finger. Let me try my little finger. Ooh, I'm literally hardly touching it, guys. We're building some energy. Something is, but it feels like a magnet, maybe. My other hand is here. Guys, I'm hardly touching it. Uh, um, guys, it's pulling me towards the M. I'm trying to push it back into the middle. Oh, fuck. Guys, I'm literally, couldn't be M-E. Right, it let me move it back to the middle then. M-E. I can't do this any lighter while still moving it. Me. I said, is anyone in this room, didn't I? Can you let me know who me is? Who are you? Hey. <laughs> this is so weird. I am trying to push it back to the middle. I'm not going to lie to you guys. See it spin? See it spin the other way? Okay. Oh! It actually pulled. I'm just going to do as light as I can. 
Look at this, guys. It's pulling. I, I am literally hardly touching that now. Right, you said K. Is there any other letters that you'd like to pu pull the punch at two or push? Right, I'm just going to spin it to get some more energy going. Oh my. It's, it's pulling towards the middle now. Oh my. It's coming off the board, guys. Please tell me you can see that pulling. Please tell me you can see that pulling. Please tell me you can see that pulling. Oh. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am trying to push it to the middle. It's put pulling and twisting on its own. I need to get a second camera on this. So you can... I shouldn't be putting my finger up. I know I shouldn't. Yes. Because I need you guys to see how little I'm touching this. I am ho hardly touching this at all. This is moving. I'm gonna try and upload this phone footage. You will see I'm hardly touching this. This Ouija board is going on far longer than I wanted it to, but I don't care. I need you guys to see it this lifting. Right, you can see how little I'm touching that. I'm pulling that towards the middle. I'm pushing it. I'm fighting against whatever's pushing it. I'm telling you. You'll see. I'm just like playing with it. It's pushing and pulling away. Like, I'm not even asking it to spell nothing. I can just feel it. Right, let's go this way. When you see on the phone footage in a minute, well, I'm going to cut it together. You'll see that I'm hardly touching this. Oh my. Guys, this is. Someone's playing with me. See, it's rotating it. Let's go the other way. I know I should be asking it to spell stuff, but this is too cool. This is going on for a lot longer than I wanted it to. just pulled away from me but if this is gonna carry on going I'm gonna carry on filming which way was I going originally I can't even remember something is pulling and pushing this against it right I want you to see I'm hardly touching this I've just heard laughing, guys. I can hear pigeons, but I, can, I just heard a woman's laugh. Right, let's get this energy going. I, I'm not feeling it now. I'm not feeling the pushing or pulling. So it's lifting the planchette. I'm hardly touching it, guys. Little finger. I need somebody to... This is so weird. Right. 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 Right, guys. The Ouija board just went on for a bit longer than expected, but I'm not going to leave it whilst I'm getting stuff. It's just... Defeats the object, doesn't it? Um, great stuff on the Ouija board. A few bits on the Necrophonic that I need to go through in editing. But this place is creepy as. I 100% say this place is definitely haunted. Um, too much has gone on, really. Uh, noises. K2 on command. Necrophonic and the Ouija board. Um, absolutely insane. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Going to get my head down and chill out.
and have a few beers to celebrate got some evidence so i hope you've enjoyed it guys remember you can come and order and book in this place you can stay here yourselves if you dare but absolutely amazing loved it and we'll see you next time guys hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you next week